Hi there, and welcome to yet another video on the subject of becoming a strobist. This is part five, where I will be introducing the use of an umbrella. And previously you have seen that I have added first an off-camera flash, then a battery pack, a homemade snoot, an additional flash, and now I've come to the umbrella. So this is part number five in a series that I hope eventually will show you how I managed to learn how to control light, artificial light that is. So if we start off with the setting or my studio, which is actually my kitchen, uh, you can see here that I have the subject is a bouquet of flowers. I have lots of ambient light coming in because it was a sunny day. So I have some windows here to the right you can't see, but they give the light here and they also give the light over here. I have my Nikon D750 with a trigger on top. I have my first flash, as you can see over here, hiding behind uh, the shoot through umbrella. And then finally, I have the second flash sitting here, sort of below the table, hitting the wall behind the subject, these uh, flowers here. Uh, so that is basically the setup, relatively simple, but still a two flash setup with an umbrella to sort of spread the light and a remote trigger and some support from a Godox battery pack so that I won't have to fill the flash over here with batteries all the time. And here's the results. I don't know what you think of it, but I think other than some technical details with some of the leaves being pointing in the wrong direction, I think this could actually pass as a professional picture, or maybe I'm just imagining this because I'm pretty happy with this picture, but I think it is pretty well lit. I think it is uh, all the elements in the picture here sharp. But it wasn't a completely error-free ride, if I can call it like that. I had three major issues during this shoot. Uh, first was that the flowers were very unevenly lit. The second was that the fill light was way too strong, even though I was shooting in TTL. And the third thing was that the rear flowers in the bouquet were quite blurry. But I managed to fix that, I believe. Let's see how I did it. The first issue with the uneven light you can see here that in this picture, the flowers here to the left are lit up, whereas the, the roses here to the right are not. When you hear the, the answer to this, you're thinking, yeah, that was too simple, but it took me a while to figure it out. But it was actually because the flash was a little bit too low and the light came in too much from the side. I had expected that the umbrella would have distributed the light better, but it didn't. So I moved the flash higher and closer. And then I also zoomed uh, to a wider range here on the flash, the, the primary flash here. And that in total gave a better distribution of the light. So that took care of issue number one. Issue number two, and this is one of the things that makes me absolutely hate flashlight. But that is, you can see here in the background, or the flowers uh, in the background, that they are completely burned or overexposed by uh, the flashlight and I found out that this was due to the light uh, from the fill flash the one below the table so I had to actually switch to manual mode and I also had to do a lot of things to soften the light I went more wide on the, on the fill flash I used the built-in diffuser and I also switched to manual mode and gradually tried to reduce the power so that I had uh, the right amount of light uh, coming from the back. And one of the things, a little tip here, I added a green gel to the uh, fill flash so I could see where the light from the fill flash was coming and where it was coming from the primary uh, flash. Uh, and there's a little hint for you if you are struggling to find the balance between the fill flash and the, and the main flash. Uh, then uh, adding gels to one of them or both could be a way to identify the, the source of the light. So that helped me in this process. And lastly but not least, I had challenges getting, you can see here the two red circles. These flowers are not exactly sharp. They appeared blurred. And that uh, was, I was actually hoping I could get the entire picture. I could get the entire picture sharp. And the way to fix this is that you simply increase the f-stop number. And then you also focus not on the flower here in the front, but sort of in a flower in the middle of the uh, bouquet. 
The reason being that the depth of field, you have sharpness, pri- your, your, your focal plane, uh, that there's uh, sharpness in front of the focal plane and after the focal plane. And you can see down here, it's, I believe it's uh, six or seven centimeters on both sides of uh, your focal plane. So that gives you 13 centimeters or so uh, in the case where you're shooting with f.4. Maybe that's a little bit difficult to get right with the uh, bouquet of flowers. So actually in the final picture, I shot at f11, uh, I believe, which gives me a little bit more. But you can use the depth of field calculator to figure out if, if the subject you have, if you can get it sharp. Uh, sort of front to back and these were all the issues that I sort of encountered with this shoot and uh, I think that uh, as I said uh, I've came up with a fairly okay result if you have any comments to this picture I would love to have hear your feedback and in general if you found this video useful please give me some feedback this feedback that I get is what makes this channel become better and better over time so thank you for watching As always, happy shooting, take care, bye-bye.